going into the season as opposed to last year? What does it look like any of this team is going to look like? Uh, yes, sir, we do. Uh, mostly is growth and maturity. Uh, we we took, like last year, we took everything, and even though we were freshmen, so like this year, now we know what to expect from work, and we're just taking that from taking that run with it. Hard though to go from you know most most team schedules they play non conference games and it sort of builds up to certain opponents and you don't have that luxury this year. So how do you kind of get these guys that haven't played together with you guys at all, let alone an ACC game? How do you help get them ready? Um, that was usually we just use that as for the summer. Like this summer we did a lot of team bonding. Uh, like we used the Italy trip for it was a team bonding trip, but usually it was for all the guys to get to know each other, play with each other, get the feel for each other. So we should be we should be good. Do you like opening up with an ACC opponent? Uh, yeah, that's 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 a big test. Uh, it's it's good to have a big test for the first game to see where the the team is at as as once, but it's a it's a big jump. You see, you've talked a lot, you and the rest of the, you know your coaches and your players have talked about um you know kind of this maturity, emotional growth, uh, mental growth. How has your game grown physically, though? What did you change from last year to make yourself look more? Uh, I changed. I changed a lot last year uh, from make, making myself more of a threat of shooting the ball from outside and inside uh, mid range. Uh, just doing it to every all the aspects, like the little things that coach be <clears throat> preaching about. So doing everything I possibly could just to that I didn't do last year this year. Have there been any specific moments for you and Xavier and Trey? either at practice or in the locker room, have shown your leadership, have made pulled guys aside, and you know, gave them, I know it's not you're talking to, but advice or encouragement? Yes, sir, uh, we, usually we, we did it with the freshmen this year. Like last year, we didn't, we didn't have more of a, like a leadership last year coming in, so we really didn't have nobody like we could look up to as more. But now this year, like we have the leadership roles, so we could bring in, like when the freshmen come in, we could tell them like the right, the right and wrong and stuff like that that we didn't have, the big brother, Figure we didn't have when we came in. Do so you guys feel like you, you're the big brothers? So you yes, know. yes, sir. They look up to us a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So looking back to that Florida State game last year, you guys pulled off a big win. I mean, what what do you take away from that, and what do you kind of remember from that game? Uh, I just remember it was it was a a dog fight the whole the whole time from tip. Uh, that it's a competitive team, so like we gotta come out like every center like we gotta click every like there's no. Mental laps or nothing like, cause anything the game can go back and forth, but it could turn around quick. So like, this year like we just our main focus is to keep our head on the swivel and just keep it pushing. Was it eye opening to see a team with that amount of size for the first time? Oh yes, sir. Uh, Florida State was most like the biggest team we played. So like, it was it was way it was a it was more of an eye opening because we haven't played against nobody that big besides Syracuse in a zone, but. Florida State was is a more physical, a big, bigger team, and opponents most important we played against. So in that game last year, I think you were the leading rebounder along with the seven foot four guy. Yeah, uh, right. Is that going to be the key again? Uh, is it to at least even out the rebounding battle with a team that has a size advantage? Yes, yeah, so that's that's the goal for the whole year. Uh, the coach preached about that. Like uh, if we we get rebounds, we could we could beat a lot of teams down the court because our team this year is more fa is faster. So we could just, anybody get a rebound, like we just go and beat, beat anybody on the floor. So that's the main key is to box out, get rebounds, and win the game. Is that tempo, the higher pace, something you're hoping you guys do a little more this this, uh, this season? Yes, yeah, so, uh, it's more of a last year, we couldn't really do it as much because we didn't have a lot of versatile guys. But this year we have a lot of versatile guys like Justin, we got Gerald, so, and we have some newcomers as well, like transfers and stuff like that, and Murph. I can have shooters, so like we have a lot of players, like we could space the floor, we could just get it and go. So, how have the coaching staff stressed communication on defense and specifically with rebounding? It's it's an everyday thing. Like, uh, it's no talk. It's like you're not helping. You're not helping your guy. Like, you got to talk at all times. They, they let the defender know like you have help. You know, it's like so that's big key on on defense. You got to communicate. Uh, if it's something not working, you got to fix the problem. So. We gotta communicate through that. I know you haven't played much yet this year, but how do you feel you guys are doing on that front compared to last year? Uh, we don't. It's it's like last year we had we had like older guys, so like they knew to talk more. But like our younger guys, like 
we they have like minute laps, like not talking sometimes, but they know what they're doing. But they just they coming along very very well on defense, to communicating and coming out of their shell. What's it? Oh, okay. What's it like playing in a big game here? And what and you know with all the new things, new uniforms, new look. I mean, how excited are you to kind of showcase that in front of the national TV? Um, it's, it's very exciting. Like we've been preaching about this for a long time, like since the summer in Italy. It's just the atmosphere is crazy here. It's like the zoo, it gets you fired up. Like and then all the new colors we got now, the uh, new the colors. It's it's beautiful. Like I just want we just want to bring a W, a first big W, in the new colors and in the new arena. So. You're not the biggest guy out there, but you're an effective rebounder. I mean, do you feel like it's important for you to kind of set a tone for everybody else on sort of the effort it takes to be effective at that end? Yes, sir. Uh, that's that's what coaches preach a lot. Uh, it's not about the size; it's about the heart. So, like, you have to you got to do the little things, the dirty work. So, the dirty work is the rebound, fight against big uh, opponents, and that's I feel like that's what I try to do every every night. You know, so. If I'm not doing that, I'm not doing my job. So, and that's and that's an effect on everybody else on the team. So, have you always been like that? I've always been like that ever since I was little, like high school as well. Like, I always have to be able to like rebound. If you don't rebound, you can't get the ball. So, like, you can't go on offense and stuff like that. So, that was a big key rebounding.